Good morning, everybody. This is Steve, the Whirly Bogger, standing here on the banks of the Yakima River at Reinhardt Park, mid farmlands, bottom of the farmlands, I guess we would call it, in Ellensburg. And as you can see, the river is mighty big once again. So warm temperatures have arrived and more snow is melting out of the mountains so this is not from water releases from the reservoirs they're still trying to capture as much water in the reservoirs as they can That'll be all that higher elevation snow that kind of eludes the reservoirs and comes in via the tributaries. Of course, the Tianaway being the largest besides the Clay Ellum River, but that's all controlled flow. So just so you have an understanding of what's happening here. And we're expecting even warmer temperatures today over the next few days through the weekend until it drops kind of early next week back into kind of normal temperature flows here for the valley. So we're expecting highs in the 90s and the river's projected to go even higher. So. Today the clarity here is okay. I mean, definitely fishable today. It's not great clarity by any means. And as we go further south, you know, and get into the canyon, Wilson Creek is probably dumping some mud in today because we had quite a bit of rain last night here. A couple hours worth, so. I'm just assuming that, I don't know that for a fact because I'm not there, but just from past experience is usually what happens when we get big rainfall. That, that gets pretty muddy and dumps a lot, of, a lot of mud, a lot of silt into the lower canyon. So water conditions are probably a little less favorable there today than, than what they are. As far as bug wise goes, we just got done with the largest salmon fly hatch that we've ever seen on this river. I mean, look at this tree right here. There's one, two, three, four, five. I mean, they were everywhere. Six. I mean, there's a, there's a dozen salmon fly shucks just on that little tree alone. We've seen four to 600 a day on the water and the, the fish were eating them big time. So really exciting to see the river, you know, and what its capabilities really are. I'm watching it kind of transform over as many years as I've been here. It just, we just keep telling people that it keeps getting better and better. And the experience as that, that we see with the bugs and just amazing so of course the caddis are, are you know going to be a really big primary focus of trout now especially for the next few weeks as we get these enormous hatches of caddis the heat waves are going to bring that on there's still mayflies march browns those will still be happening in places on the river too so be prepared for that and as we kind of transition here and move towards the uh, month of June, we'll start seeing golden stones. Aaron's already seen a few PMDs in the upper river, so. Lots of things happening for the fly fisher to, uh, to make it uh, exciting. So we might lose the river here for a couple of days, but probably by early next week, we'll be back at it. Aaron's 
Aaron's uh, and Laird are up fishing in the upper river today and uh, getting into some fish. But at least warmer temperatures have arrived here and uh, we're excited about that. We we'll get all this snow, this low elevation snow load out and we should be good to go as the uh, reservoirs kind of take control of the river and let our fishing season progress. I can tell you about the lake fishing. It's slow. I'm, I'm starting to get slower reports from there and it's probably uh, mainly because of the heat during the day. Trout are tending to go deeper. Bug hatches are probably a little less scarce, especially coronamids as it, as it gets warm during the day, especially in the desert. Early mornings and evenings, people still been catching fish at all the all the lakes, uh, the real popular ones in the desert, Lanise, Nunley, Dusty, Burke Lake. There's handfuls and handfuls of, la of, of lakes out there to fish. So, um, but that's basically kind of the scenario that I've been getting from there. Uh, hearing about a little bit of Calabatus action and uh, some damsel fly and we'll probably see uh, this isn't just an assumption but with the uh, warmer temperatures you know uh, in the high 90s that's probably going to bring the damsel fly activity on in a lot of the lakes uh, and you could even see some turnover in lakes with uh, with it getting warm so keep a heads up on that Anyways, you guys have any questions, stop by the pro shop in Ellensburg. Give us a call. Happy to help you out with whatever you need. Everybody have a great week. Enjoy your hump day and I uh, hope to see you soon.